Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is December 23rd of 2021. It's 44 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius. It's a Thursday, and I just uh, received the floor swept uh, soil. But before I anything, uh, I know tomorrow is going to be time for you to spend with your family and friends for the holidays. But for Bonsai with Mark Sanders, if you can go to his site and give him a thumbs up because it's his second round of radiology for his full body cancer, wish him well. He's going to be in the hospital on Christmas Eve, so give him a little thumbs up and uh, get well and recover soon and give him some encouragement. I know he's in full spirits and he's positive he's going to lick this cancer, but I know as a Bonsai family we can help him out. So if, I'd appreciate it if you could do it. So today I got the Bonsai soil that's floor swept from uh, Superfly Bonsai. What they do is every time they mix soil for the bags that they sell, whatever falls on the floor, whatever falls on the floor, they sweep up and they sell it. And it's $30 a bag. So here's the box that it came in. Let me pull it put it down if you can see it's a pretty big box and it's heavy so let's see what we got let me open it up we got some good strong tape on here so if I can get it out and if we got time in this and the tablet last we can uh, I'll show you the Fabian and we can pot it okay Family and friends discount, 10% off everything before 1.30 of 2022. So there it is. So you can see it if you want to try it out. But let's see what this soil looks like. And it's, uh, it's a cheap bonsai mix. So it's $30 for this big bag. And what we get is what we get it's whatever they swept off the floor that day and put together for the soil mixes so that's it look at that bag of stuff so I'm going to have to get a good bucket and put this all in but it looks pretty good it's all different I don't know what the mix is everything's different in there but hey from they can't use it so why not sell it and I don't blame them looks like a good bag and for thirty dollars you can't go wrong and it will ship FedEx so let's give it a try let's try it out here's a mica pot that I had for about oh over ten years it's been outside in the winter and everything it's a little raggedy and worn torn but I got the screen in there washed it out real good so we'll use that for the Fabian and our soil so I got here's the Fabian tree that I bonsai that I bought at uh, Home Depot and you can see the good trunk on this thing but let's see the roots on it and it was uh, $14.98 that's sold as a stump if you want to see and check it out at uh, Home Depot so Let's get started and see what we got. Before I take that apart, I'm gonna open the bag up very carefully on my old rocking chair here. And I'm just gonna snip and end off with my, my scissors. And this way here I can show you what the soil looks like. It's not a bad looking soil. It's mixed with all kinds of ingredients. A little bit of pine bark and everything else. So it's not a bad little mix. So let's try it out. Let's give it a shot. So let me move my table over so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll put some of the soil in. Let me get my bigger cup. Let me 
let's see what we got here. We'll put it in, spread it on the bottom real nicely. But before doing anything else, let's take our Aurelia out of the pot and let's see what we got here. It's a pot within a pot. So let me take this pot out of the way. So if you can't afford some of the fancier soils, you can try the floor sweepings. I mean, it's got a whole array of all different ingredients in there. And if you go to Superfly Bonsai, you can check some of the ingredients that are inside of it. But this thing's got a nice little root system on them, if you can see the root system. So this one looks like it was stuck and rooted good because you can see the nice foliage on it. So right now, I'm just trying to take some of this soil out of what they got here. Let's get that out. Let me get this, throw some of this out so we can see what we're doing. I know I'm in the way. I make a better door than a window. <laughs> we don't want that. So let's take and just jab into the root system and see what we can get out because these are nice fine feeder roots. And I don't want to take them all off because you can as you can see they're not they're, they're uh there you go camera. You can see how they fall off. So there's we're just going to take a little bit off at a time and just shake it just like that and just tap it to get most of the soil off so we can put it into the into the floor swept soil just like that. There we go. You can see how I'm doing it. I'm just tapping it to get the soil off because I didn't water it a lot because I want to be able to repot it. And we're going to try out this fancy soil, this floor swept soil, which has got pine bark and let's see from bonsai. It's got uh, it's got pine bark, uh, pumice lava, calcified calcium clay pine bark vines and there's a whole bunch of other ingredients in there that I can't remember the name. I had to look at the, we are, uh, the bonsai supply that comp for some of the ingredients that are on there but this is this is the nice root system. Forgive me but I got to get used to the camera working from my left. So there's we can put it in about here I think we'll highlight the trunk this way. We're not going to do no cuttings off of it, but I think we can get this a little higher. So let me get some more of uh, the soil out. Hey, for 30 bucks, this was a big heavy bag of soil. I can't believe it. Let's see where we're at. Something like that. If we put it in like that, that will be good. If you can see it and I'm not in the way. So let's take some of our Azus, our beneficial bacteria. We're going to hit the root system really, really good. Now remember, it's not going to burn the roots because it is a beneficial bacteria. I'm putting it in the bottom part there. And let me get some of the meat goose out. And see, it's, it holds pretty good. After the holidays, I'll order some more Mikus and Azus because right now with the holidays, I don't want to take a chance. I know the mail's busy getting all the packages out for people. So, there we go. Now, I think this will make a nice front right here just for the time being until it roots real good. And... Put that in. Remember to put them in the bags, keep them from getting contaminated. 
Now what I'll do is, okay, I gotta work backwards here. See, it's not the real big thick crystals like you're used to, the potting mix, but it's nice. It's a nice fine little mix. And let's see how it really, really works. Just like that. There we go. Covered in real good. Now this pot is heavy because it's a mica pot. Back then I think I paid like almost 25 bucks for this pot or maybe 30, I can't remember. It's been so way while back. There we go. This is a pretty big bag of potting mix for $30. I can't believe it. But there is a difference if, you know, it's floor swept. And if you don't mind it being floor swept, it's all the fines and everything were sifted out of it before they send it. So you're not going to get no garbage. Okay, so let's just get it into our roots the best we can. There we go. Now you're going to see the difference. Now this is from the bonsai supply which is a good soil. But you can see you can see the difference because it's not floor swept, it's pre-mixed. I mean, it's it's mixed with all the bigger particles for uh, bigger drainage and stuff. But for floor swept, I don't, I don't really mind it because I can use this also on my, uh, all my outdoor plants too. And some of my tropicals, like my cactus and stuff, because it's, it's gonna be a nice drain in soil. So, we're going to use this as our front. We're not going to cut nothing yet because I want the foliage to develop. And you'll have to forgive me right now because I'm brain dead. My one subscriber says, Tom, you got you to gotta miss the leaves every day. So I'm going to miss them. So forgive me for forgetting names because what are you going to do? I didn't listen to my father. He told me, Tom, never grow old. And I didn't listen to him. <laughs> so there we go. You missed it to get all the, the tension out, but right now this looks pretty good. Look at how nice it waters in. It's good for floor swept. It's got like maybe uh, over a dozen different soils, I mean uh, different mixes into it. According to what I read on their information, I should have wrote it all down, but I didn't. But uh, that's good. You get a... a, a sort of a hodgepodge of all different soil, uh, different ingredients in your soil. And you can see right now it's draining out real good. Let's see how it is. So I'm gonna have to get some heavier rocks and put it on here to hold it in. I don't wanna move it. There we go. And I think that's a nice little potting mix. I don't know if you can see it. Let me, let me put it in a little bit better for you. And there it is. Just like that. A nice little, little potting mix. It's floor swept, so you get what, what they sweep up on that day. So, don't be expecting to get something super fancy like you get from uh, We Are the Bonsai Supply because this is just, they. I mean, they have their own soil mixes just like uh, the Bonsai Supply, which uh, gives you some fantastic soil. Thank you, Scott, on that. And uh, for floor sweepings, from you know, when they, when they mix like a 
uh, six different bags of soil. Whatever they scoop up that day, that's what you get. So you're not guaranteed of what you get, but who cares for the price and ugh, a giant bag like this, that's pretty good. So I thank Superfly Bonsai for putting out a nice little mix like this. So not to tie you guys up today, Relax with your family, get every everything ready for tomorrow and Christmas. For those of you, think of uh, give don't forget give Mark Sanders a nice thumbs up, give him some encouragement for tomorrow. I know he's going to go through a lot with the radiology, second uh, treatment that he has to do. So Mark, uh, we're gonna we're all in there for you. So tonight. Have a cup of tea. It's supposed to get warm tomorrow, 50 degrees Fahrenheit with rain, so better than snow. So make yourself a nice little pot of tea. Uh, put on some old time uh, Christmas carols. There's a good old movie from 1940 called Beyond Tomorrow. That is a good vintage old time movie. If I found it on YouTube if you want to look at it. And for some, I mean, it's not fancy like everything else, but it's a it's a good old movie. And don't forget, Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> and I like uh, Ellister Sim as Scrooge. He was one of the best. And then there's George C. Scott also. <laughs> so you take care, everybody. I'm going to find some rocks for this little Mingarelia. And yes, I have to spray the leaves, but not here because I'm going to get all my wiring wet. <laughs> but... Uh, Give it a shot. See how it grows. So you take care. Pot of tea. Enjoy each other's company. Enjoy the holidays. And just relax tonight. Even if you have to read a book, sit down, relax with your wife, your loved ones, your family. Shut the phone off for a while. Tell everybody, don't bother you for three hours. Back in, the, back in my days, we had just the old dial phones. We didn't have nobody calling us ten times a day. We just sat back, relaxed with the family, and enjoyed each other's company. So you take care, everybody. Have a good day. And don't forget, give uh, Mark Sanders a little thumbs up for tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and thank you for coming to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. And don't be afraid. If you can afford to send out for some soils, try them out. You ain't got nothing to lose. And like me, I always mix them, too. Take care, everyone, and have a good, good day.